Hi, third graders. Today for science, we are going to be using your garden observation journal that is in the packet that you picked up from school. It looks like this. And it is a little booklet for us to make observations outside throughout the rest of the school year. So when you get the observation journal out, put your name on the front cover. You can decorate the front cover any way you want. If you wanna draw pictures of flowers or things that you might find outside, um, that's totally up to you. The very first page, you'll notice there's a rectangle and some lines for you to make your observations. There also is a place for you to write the date. Today is Monday, September 14th, 2020. Be sure to record that date. What makes this garden observation journal really cool is that we will be using this throughout the year. So your illustrations that you make in the rectangle and the observations that you make on the lines, we'll be able to see how the seasons change and things that we notice throughout the year and how that has changed. So when you go outside, no matter what your space outside looks like, there's something you can observe. Even if you're sitting on the sidewalk and you're looking around, what do you see around you? Do you see any trees? What do the trees look like? What do the leaves on the trees look like? You can look up in the sky. You can even use your ears to make those observations and listen to the sounds that you hear. Do you hear birds? Do you hear insects? Do you hear, um, even if it's like a, a mower, a lawn mower in the distance, any of those observations, that would be a place for you to record that. You can write your observations on the line. You can also add illustrations. I am going to walk around a little bit in my yard so we can make some observations together. So I am going to go over to, I have um, some flowers. I also have some tomatoes that I discovered today that have been eaten by critters. So um, I'll show you those tomatoes really quick. Someone, maybe a chipmunk, um, got to my tomatoes and has been enjoying them. So here are some of those tomatoes. Eek. I don't think we'll be eating those, but I guess it's good somebody got to enjoy them. Now, um, if I come on over to my flower garden, I have some different flowers. I have um, this kind of bushier plant. It's got really skinny leaves here, if I can show you and some beautiful little purpley flowers. So I might sit, and maybe I pick this plant to be the one that I want to make my observations of. I can make some sketches. I can, um, I'm noticing, if I look up really close here, we've got Randy here, my dog wants to know what we're doing. If I look up really close, some of these flowers are still closed and some of these flowers are open. Randy does not want me to be recording right now. Some of these flowers are open. So I might, um, as I make my illustrations, I'll draw some of the flowers closed and some of the flowers open. I might write that down on my observations too. You can, observe, like I mentioned, you can observe anything. Maybe you are making illustrations of the animals and the bugs that you see. Maybe you're making illustrations and writing observations of the plants that you see. Whatever it is, I can't wait for you to share those with me. Have fun getting outside today.